All right, guys, if you want to know how to set up a tail decoy spread, keep watching. If you let them work, you'll kill a lot more dust. I want movement in my decoy. Whoa! Welcome back to the channel, guys. We was out here early this morning scouting teal. Teal's two or three weeks away. And uh, this is what you need to do because this reservoir here, as big as it is, you got to know what section that the teal like to go to. It's like that in a rice field, a big lake, anywhere you hunt, there's just one section that the ducks really like to go to. So that's what we're out here doing this morning. We didn't see any this morning, but we're gonna be out here looking every morning. You can do that too, come before. Boy, they got a bunch in there. Cut them. <laughs> <laughs> they got, you can do that. Uh, you can do that before work, before class. Just come out here, scope, get you some binoculars and look and find out what section of the place where you hunt that the ducks like to go to. And since we was out here, I thought I'd just show y'all what we do during teal season, setting up decoys and, and stuff like that. We're gonna be hunting those trees back there. If it was a hunting situation, you notice the wind is gonna be at our backs. Perfect. They're gonna be coming right into our face. So let's put out some decoys. I know these are green wingers. That's all I had to get to this morning. But green wingers, they come down too. Teal is the first ducks that leaves Canada. There'll be a few spoonbills in there. A few gadwall, a few, few pintails. You'll be able to see some of them. And we always take our duck calls and we'll play with them, you know, when we see them. But if we was hunting here this morning, I'm gonna separate these decoys a little bit because I don't want them. One, one thing these teal will do, unlike other ducks, is they will light right in your decoys, right in them. But so wherever you're hunting, you want to put the decoys right in front of you. If, you if the wind's coming to your face, I mean to your back, if it's a side wind, and you got three or four guys with you, I would start the decoys, the lead edge of them, right in the middle. Because when they break down, they're gonna be just right so everybody can get to them. But we spread them out, not real close together. Now we've covered, since the wind is gonna be at our back, we've covered the whole hunters as much as the hunters are because they gonna come because we like to work them i notice uh, a lot of people as soon as they see the teal and they go to calling and they come over they'll shoot at them boom well you might get one or two but you want we work them well you just start blowing blowing your duck call and they'll pass and you keep blowing they'll turn and they'll come back and they'll buzz you again and they'll be a little lower, and they'll be still real fast. You keep blowing that duck call at them, that tail call we got. And that third pass, they'll come in, and they'll start breaking down, and they'll come together. Bad move on their part. If you let them work, you'll kill a lot more ducks. Do it. Here's another tip. If you're out here putting up decoys, and it's before daylight, you're getting ready for shooting hours, and you hear that wind on them wings, you hear that before daylight, you better get some more bullets because it's on like a chicken bone, Jack.
Another thing we do, we put out jerk cords because movement is key. Movement and ripples on the water. We got ripples because of the wind, but we're gonna put movement in there too. It's mid morning. We're, I'm setting up this decoy spread like it's an actual hunting situation, which if the wind was blowing, this would be perfect. But you gotta remember, at daylight, there ain't much wind. And in September, we got a hurricane coming, so this is kind of unusual. September's kind of windless, so you're gonna need ripples on the water. So always, this thing is portable. You can carry it anywhere, easy. I'd always have it with me. All right, the reason I'm doing this in the middle for teal is because these teal are gonna to come to the movement. And that's where you want them. Now the big ducks, when you're hunting big ducks, you wanna put it on the leading edge. And two, I can get these ripples out toward the other decoys. But you'll want them ducks, them big ducks, to be looking at that lead edge. Watch this. I'm gonna walk toward you a little bit. I'm gonna find a log here in a minute. Watch this, watch these decoys. Oh, oh, oh. Look at them ripples. You see that? And look, when do you jerk it? You jerk it when they're out there approaching. When they get close, just let it go. But when they pass, oh, you try to jerk this thing. You try to yank the decoys off of it. And that splash and that ripples, it's gonna, it's gonna make them bank a lot sooner because they're gonna say, oh, they, they, they messing around, they're happy, they're diving, they're feeding, and it's gonna make them commit a lot easier. So what about spinners? Do we use spinners? You betcha. We got the new Mojo Elite. Look here, soft body soft. Ain't no racket to this. Not Listen. Listen. You hear that? Not much sound. And no rattling. No rattling. We're going to kind of put it not quite in the middle. Kind of off to one side or the other. But close to the middle of the spread. And you're going to always face it into the wind because you want it to look natural. Ducks light into the wind. Just like airplanes light and fly, take off in the wind. They use that air on their wings to control themselves. So they always, so remember that when you're picking up. Always into the wind. Ooh, look at that thing go. Close to the water is what we like. Now we got a blue wing spinner. But you ain't gotta just go buy you a blue wing spinner. You can have, if you got a dove spinner, Use him. Use any spinner you got. You just want this right here. See how that flash? You want to be more natural, you can get a blue wing. But if you ain't got one, it ain't that, tail hunting ain't that expensive. You can just use what you have. We got the ripplers, the butt up ripplers we like to use during tail season. We use these mallard drakes, a lot of white. They'll be shaking. They can see that white. They think them ducks are feeding happy. Oh, everybody's happy. Of course, I like to feed too, but I don't stand on my head to do it. And we'll put these ripplers, I got one today, but we'll have up to four maybe, and we'll put them on the outside edges. Look at that. He's making that decoy. Uh-oh, here's a decoy. Cripple, get him, get him, cripple. <coughs> Golly, look at the ripples, even in the wind. That's a lot of flash. So if you're talking, you know, it's in between bunches, you don't know, you don't see any tail, so you're not jump, jerking the string, you still got ripples out here going for you. Look at that thing, I love them things. Thank you so much for watching. We sure do appreciate y'all. Like and subscribe, leave us some comments, and tell us how you do it. See y'all next week.